Okay, that was... apologies, uh, Joshua. We've got slight technical problems. I hope you're able to hear this. Okay, good morning, everyone. Short off, good morning, and uh, apologies for my uh, for good reasons, but for my late uh, arrival. Um, Glustra. So uh, we we I think we looked at uh, um, at colors. Um, so we'll look now at uh, Glustra. So, yeah. Yes, it is possible. You mentioned the sound of fear. Yes. 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 Not necessarily. He he's extrapolating from Algamara, which is um before the un complete unraveling of. Uh, the Gezeri of Nehemia. And in that world, a Klisha Malachtoi Leheta is only allowed the Torah Gufoi. And you see, so, so, one of the things we didn't discuss and, and maybe should have discussed already is, is at what stage in. So, so just to summarize again, the context flies, the Gemara says that there's a number of prices which were um, um, which were said before the Bimei Nehemia Nishneis, Mishnazu, right? Bimei Nehemia Nishneis. Um, I'm sorry, no wrong quote. Kulam kodem hataras kedem nishnu. That's that accurate quote. So the Gemara says that there's a number of members which were kodem. Uh, ko again, let's get the words right. Kodem hataras kedem nishnu. So how how early in the process was that? How far along in the process was that? Was that before any unraveling of Nehemia, or after some of Nehemia was unraveled? What what stage in the evolution of the uh was this? Any, any Marunu comes? Rashi. Yeah, Rashi addresses it. So Rashi says, Zu Nishnei's kodem hetzer minion harishim, do ha-melacht and hetzer v'gosur u'toruch gufon. So this is a klisha melacht and hetzer, which is also the toruch gufon. Yeah. And then, that's Rashi on doich es ha-shabbos, but Rashi early on, Kodem Ataras Kanan says, Minun Achrun, Shutrukulun, the Surah Gufan. So, what do we see from these two Rashis? Did, did anyone notice this in Rashi? No. Okay, again, so, sorry. So, let's go clearly. The, the Gemara says that this was Nishne's Kodem Ataras Kanan. That's, that's the words of the Gemara. It's a little confusing, which is why I, I was making sure I got the words exactly correct. We have Rav Hanino who says, um, We may Nechemia ben Chakali and Nishne's Mishnazu. Um, which means uh, literally at the beginning of the Gezeira, right? At the, literally at the beginning of the Gezeira. Then, Omar Abid Lazar, Kanun Makolos and Glustra, Kanun Makolos and Glustra, or Maducha Kulun Kodem Matarus Kedem Nishnu. So, on that Rashi says, Kodem Matarus Kedem, Minun Achrin Shahutri Kulun Nasir Kuthai, La Baya, and Rava Afu Sir from Kaimai. Then on Doches Shabbos, Rashi says that's going even closer to the minion mission because Malachta Nats of Kasa the Sarah Kufan. So Rashi's learning that there's that, that it's not symmetrical. Different different of these memories were says at different points in time. Either way, our memory is going at the stage when Kli Shemalachta Leheta is only Mutter the Sarah Kufai. And nonetheless, the Gemara says if there's an alternative to avoid it, you should do so. But from that, the Shah and extrapolates, the Mishnah extrapolates that if you in, in our universe, where um Klish Malachta Leheta is Mutter for any Torah, not, not just Torah Kufan, but Klish Malachta Leheta is only Mutter for Torah Kufan, you can derive that that's only where there's no alternative to using it. That's the, the logic of the Shatsi. Yeah, anyway, it's good. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So the which is the Hadar Kadim was the Minyan Hadar. Hadar Kadim was the Minyan Mishnah. So it's just a logical say. No, because Rashi could have said Kodim Hadar Kadim of the Minyan Mishnah. It was the, these memories were all the very first stage of anything. W w when the Gemara is claiming that all these, uh, if Gemara is going to be a it, when it's saying that all these memories are in, in a pre Hadar Kadim world, does that mean before anything was unraveled, before something was unraveled, before everything was unraveled? 
Then that needs to be worked out. Chashbanah in each case. The maskana maskana. I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. Oh, that's what they're trying to do. Um, sorry, one second. I'm sorry, my Kamara page is wrong. Um, which Hatara does that mean? What What's the Kamara saying? When there's a complete Hatara? One second, let me check. I haven't made a mistake here. Um, I'm sorry, you're correct. I got myself into a muddle. The Gemara is going, the shot scene has been the dike from the Scona. I'm sorry, you're correct. Where, where, Kli, and, and yeah, and, he, and he's so he explicitly spells out, Kolshkein, he says, if Kli Shemalachto Leheta, there has to be a Torah, Kalachome, Kli Shemalachto Leisa, for Torah Kofi. That's his color for me. I'm sorry. Apologies. Yeah, I mean, I got myself in complete battle. Yes. Yes. This is going, yeah, okay. This is going on assuming that Eklishim Lachta Leheta is only Mutter Latorach, which is what we discussed previously, whether that's the case. The Mishnah Brewer is of the view that Eklishim Lachta Leheta, even Eklishim Lachta Leheta, there's a lingering remnant of um, Nehemia that it can't be moved to Lodosor Klal. Yeah. Besides the fact that you can easily separate these loads of bread for about 12 hours between when they come for six hours. Yes. There's got, there's got to be some benefit. Yes. Possibly. Yes. You're saying that. that how yes. Much, how much yes. 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 Sorry. So again, let, let's just clarify this. Um, I said two things, one of which was is accurate and one of which was only, only uh, partially accurate and partially inaccurate. The first thing is we need to understand in the Havamin of the Gemara, I'm sorry, I got myself in the muddle, in the Havamin of the Gemara, what, how far back in Gazeus Nehemiah are we going? And in that rush, he says, um, Kodem, Hataras, uh, Minion Rishon. Um, and then, I'm sorry, Rashi initially says, Kodem, Hataras, Minion Shani, and Minion Achron. And then he, uh, Kodem, Hataras, Kodem, Minion Achron, Shehutru, Kolon. And it basically, rushing on to each brighter was in the different stages of the unraveling. The Gemara doesn't mean something unified, uniform before between all of them. Then in the Maskana of the Gemara, the Gemara says, it's talking about Klishim Lachta Leheta, after the unraveling of Nehemia, in, after the, at least somewhat the unraveling of Nehemia. Does the Gemara mean the complete unraveling of Nehemia? Evidently not, because the Gemara is still saying you need to Torah. Does that mean that there's, in other words, the Gemara is still going in the stage where even a Klishim Lachta and a Heta needs some sort of Surah? We discussed right at the beginning of the Surya, are there any restrictions on the use of Klishim Lachta and Heta? We saw the Mishnah Brewer who says that one should be Machmir. We saw the uh, Avni Nezer who said, no, other than a few loans in, people aren't Machmir. But in the world view in which you are Machmir, you, you, the Gemara, in, in, there's two ways of learning this Gemara. Either the Gemara is going halach lamaisa, which is how the Shatzian understands it, in which case even a klishim lach to the heta has to have some soyach, or the Gemara is going before the complete unraveling of the chemia, in which even klishim lach to the heta had some still restrictions, which is which is what I was saying when I said even klishim lach to the had some restrictions. But the restrictions are only the, the the minimal restrictions of needing some sort of soyach, in which case we can nonetheless we can still extrapolate for klishim lach to the issa, which has to be soyach kofi. So it wouldn't be a combination of the ritual. The original question was, so the question, you know, the few writers in such a small or fine, but such a small historical time. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know any way of avoiding that. If you say that this is, if you say that is completely mutter, shalilusur klal, then uh, then we have a problem in the Gemara. Yeah. Or we learn it, uh, or we learn it like other Shadim that these are not called Klishman after the Hetzer, even Maskana. That's what the Gemara is answering. There's a Stuart Sasukas and things like that. Yeah. Yes. So the, the Pashtus is that since you're allowed to do carbon Pesach on Shabbos, that would be enough. But you're right, we also discussed that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just to summarize, we're not, we're not completely. Uh, confused. Let, let's just go in order. The Gemara is suggesting that these four brises are all talking codes and the bittle of Nehemiah. Um, 
which stage in the unraveling of Nehemiah are they before? Not entirely clear. It, it's, they vary a little bit, and Rashi already uh, sort of draws our attention to this. I, I was going to get to that later, but it's an important point. Um, that's point number one. Point number two is in the answer of the Gemara with the uh, the sticks that were used for uh, for Hashem Shatos or with the uh, um, or with the Lachma Ponim. So the Gemara tries to unravel all of them and say they're all talking about uh, they're talking about after the unraveling of the Takon of Nehemiah. But we're left with the question: How far is Nehemiah unravelled? Is Nehemiah unravelled that Kriyshim Lachdan Hatzor is completely muta, or as per really the Pashtus of of the Gemara, that even after the unravelling of Nehemiah, even a Kriyshim Lachdan Hatzor needs some level of Torah, and only things which are used the whole time, like cutlery and bowls, are completely muta on Shabbos. But other kain which are muchan on Shabbos, nonetheless, you shouldn't move the Torah for no Torah at all. Either way, the Gemara seems to say that these are muta. Um, these are also to be moved because there's an alternative, and therefore there's not enough of a Lutorah, from which the Shatians arise that at least for us, Halachanamaisa, a Krisha Malachto, Leisa, which is only Mutta, the Lutorah Kufo, has to mean that you, there's no alternative. So if you have a choice of using a, uh, a hammer or a, uh, a bowl as a paperweight, you should use the bowl as the paperweight on Shabbos rather than the hammer. If you have a choice of cracking uh, of what to, if, if you if you need to crack a coconut, that's so of kufa of kishim lachdalis of the hammer because you can't use the bowl to crack the coconut. But if you can use the if you just use the paperweight, you should use the the mutakeli rather than asakeli. That's what that's what the lachon the mission of uh, derives from from our circuit. So in the yeah. as well, looking to minimize our use of the that that's what he seems to be saying yes yeah yeah i mean how, how many first of all i mean laser points that he says we don't find anyone that good it's not that they're going to mice cutlery and bowls and uh things like that and books and sifra kodesh and food none of this applies to so it applies to a chair and a table how much do you use a chair on the table uh, for anything other than what they're designed to use? We didn't resolve clothes, but clothes also. I mean, you, we, we use these things for what we need to use them for. So, so I, I don't know how... It's not massively in a game of my, sir. But in Ochanami, in the Mishra Brewer's world, you shouldn't move them to Shalod HaTorach Klal. And that would include where there's... Uh, yeah, but the cutting out has to be with a, a, a Kli that's Mutagomo. There's not that many substitutes for chairs that are that's uh, that's the, the 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 most regularly used form of and as a loaf of bread or a bowl isn't normally a substitute for chair use. You can use a chair for sitting on. What sort of use would you use your chair for, which a bowl or a loaf of bread could substitute for? Not much. So it's not it's not that uh, common a shida. Which is probably how the Shalti would probably respond to the Avni Nezer when the Avni Nezer says um, only loans him keep the salacha. Um, you're right. How sad, but this halach was forgotten because it's not that common. It's not. It's not really that okay. Halach and So that's the soichka for the soichka and kamer. Obviously, you can do that more than the soichka for the No, so that, that again, that's the use of a chair for a chair's use. That that that's not called shelo de soich. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need. You don't need. You should minimize the use. That's the same. Well, if you've got a nutcracker and a hammer, you're telling me you use the nutcracker, even though they're both good If you can manage with three chairs between four people, maybe you should use chairs. That, that's, that, that's, that's the use of a chair, is still sitting on. Um, if we extend it again, what would be the extent of the use? I mean, let's look at the Gemara's example. Um... Evidently not particularly uh, inconvenient. He, he, he calls it a, a poor saw, a tiny... There's barely any difference in doing it the motorway or the also way, so, so do the motorway. People sitting, squashing together uncomfortably, it's not, it's not called barely, it's a, it's a proper difference. Yeah. You only have is is that how it worked? I 
there may be other people that I don't know. How does that how does one person do it? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a skin, I don't know how how inconvenient it is. Yeah. I no, I genuinely I, I don't know how inconvenient it is. To to me it seems obvious that um people sitting uncomfortably is not poor stuff. It's not it's not minimal uh, difference. Rashi says, uh if you can find another way to do it, poor stuff. If the nutcracker is less, you know, more awkward to use than the the, the hammer, um, then then that wouldn't be called pulsar. Uh, you're right. There'd be a, sh- a new shulchanoruch of uh, of how how big a pulsar, how inconvenient you have to inconvenience yourself. Minimal inconvenience. Uh, that's what Adach would say. If, if there's minimal inconvenience in, in avoiding moving uh, a kli, then you should do so. Anything more than that, not. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you could say Kishim Nachtel Issa. I don't know if you'd say Muks Machmas Kufa. They're not. Uh, yeah, but they're 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 trimmed and uh, smoothed and so on. So definitely, they're definitely made into a kli. They're designed for KD use. You could argue that they're Kishim Nachtel Issa because they're used for fundamentally an Osra activity. That happens to be mutter on uh, on uh, on Shabbos. I've, ne- I've never got quite clear in my head, and this is very very okay. Halacha um, Maisa, a klish malach to leisa, which is going to be used on Shabbos for good reasons. So, for example, uh, Hatzala or our security team. So they carry uh, walkie talkies around, and they have to do so, and it's it's halachically correct. Um, and if need be, they'll use them on Shabbos. Um, let's say with Hatzala, uh, our security teams most of the time don't need to use things. Right? I, I don't know if I've ever have had to use them. But Hatzala, which know that they're going to use their phone several times on Shabbos. So is it a Klishim Shemlachtel Issa? Or for them, is it a Klishim Shemlachtel Heta? Because it's, specific, they, they, it's set aside for a Muslim use on Shabbos, which is using a phone for Hatzala's needs. Um, it's a good China. So my focus. Um, I've never managed in my own mind to get clear exactly how how much the and I'm The Then would be uh, when they're not using it, do they have to? Should they be mapped with on total and outside? And obviously, when an emergency happens, there's no no comers what to, no uh, no shenoyim used or anything like that. Um, but are they are they completely not mocked for them or not? So you, you could in the Gemara begin speculating about that. The trouble, and, and we saw a Gemara that speculates about that because the Gemara in Sukkah compared the esrog. To the um, to which cases the, the Gemara and Sukkah compared that sorry the lulav of Nittel B'Shabbos, um, Tosis I'm sorry compared the lulav of Nittel B'Shabbos to the Konim the Lachem and we're not entirely sure what Tosis meant by that that comparison. The problem is our Gemara of Pashtus isn't going with that because our Gemara saw the price of Konim and said this is an example of Kodem the unraveling of Nachemia Kodem it's Sheti Yuchedim. So the Gemara is assuming that this is the Kedusha Menachdo Laheta. And I feel hockey, it's also because of Nehemiah. And that the Gemara doesn't answer, no, 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 it's a Kalishim Nachta Issa. The Gemara answers, no, it's, it's a Kalishim Nachta Nehata. And even after Nehemiah, there's an Issa because you, you have a, a, a way of using, uh, avoiding any, uh, any, uh, any shiders. Um, so the Gemara is, the Pashtas, our Gemara is assuming this is a Kalishim Nachta. Is everyone with me? The Gemara is assuming it's, again, the, the Gemara brings these examples as, um, kodem, kodem shetiru, before the Hatter of Nehemiah. In other words, the Gemara is assuming that the, the only way to explain this b'risa is that these are k- clear, this is a Kli Shemlach to Leheta, and nonetheless, it's also because of Nehemiah. And on that, the Gemara doesn't answer, no, no, you've got this all wrong. Uh, it's a Kli Shemlach to Leheta, or Moksimach to Skufo. There is a Kli Shemlach to Leheta, but because there's an alternative, better to use an alternative and not to go into, into that over. The Mishnah Bru on that says, ah, oh, you see that if there's a reasonable alternative, you don't have to, you shouldn't be using Items which are are, are forbidden, fine. Um, but the Gemara doesn't answer that num- that these are clearly in Kalishim and Achdal Issa. We, we have two things to think about in that. Number one, Tosfos and Sukkah, which I, I put on the sheets, um, it, it considers comparing Konim to uh, um, to Lulav, and uh, seems to say that they're Mukta for that reason, which is against our Gemara. And the Pashtuns of our Gemara is that these are these, these are Kalishim and Achdal Issa. And, uh, and later, and, uh, 
So which places are you in? Oh, sorry, places in Sukkah. Yeah, Sukkah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay, let me, let me look, look back at this again. Siltul Balma, Upper Gav the Chodzi Nimitzah, that places. Below Sidor Ah, sorry, okay, again, I was doing it. No, he means unlike Rashi, who says it's Kabina and Sosa. In other words, it's what is it? It's of Nehemia. Uh, it's a Kalim. Yeah, that's his whole deal from the Gemara. That he is saying it's a weak issa because he's saying that we, we you can't answer in Shavas Bemikdash by saying it's Rashi says for some reason or other that the Rabbanon of Bain and Sais is a tougher Rabbanon and that even though in Shavas Bemikdash this would apply but the Algamar implies not like that Algamar seems to imply that there's uh, it's not Kabbalah and Sais it's just it's Sakadim yeah yeah yeah. Whatever stages is, it's Nehemia. It's 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 on Nehemia. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess. Uh. We'll we'll stop here. I will. Um. Let me just think if we've got time. No, I'll, I'll stop here. What I would say is, if you haven't done so. Let's see the Masha and in such time we'll give before next Sunday. I'll give a, a couple of machines to see in the next video, and we'll try and get to the mission of just so that we we sort of finished at a, a logical point before the the winter break. Yeah. There's no, they, yeah, anyone can learn on Tuesday, but there's no shit on Tuesday, no, no official learning on Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.